Welcome back. I have a grapefruit tree here that is sick. It has some issues. It actually has two issues which are related. One, there are mealybugs on it that are being milked by ants. Basically the ants protect them, spread them around a tree much like aphids, and then they take their sweet secretions back to the ant nest. So the ants are all over this tree and they're spreading around this sucking insect which is causing damage to the tree, taking away some of its sap. But the sweet sap that they're exuding, their sweet sappy droppings, are feeding a black fungus, which is all over the tree as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat both at the same time in a pretty much organic way. Now I have got two products here. These are both imported from the US. It's uh, from Stoller USA. One of them is called Top Cop with Sulfur. If you guys read Turned Earth, a Jack Broccoli novel, you know what this is. This has got sulfur and copper in it. This is a copper sulfate of some form. This is awesome for getting rid of fungi and it also feeds the plants at the same time, which is really cool. And I think, yes, Top Cop is Omri approved for use in organic farming. Boom! The second one here is a pest spray oil. This is called Golden Pest Spray Oil. And this is a botanical insecticide. The active ingredients, soybean oil. So, yeah, all you little bug men with your soy, watch out, that soy's gonna get you. So anyhow, we've got uh, Top Cop with sulfur, golden pest spray oil, and this one here I've got to put in. It's important to pay attention to the label. Be very, very precise with your soybean oil. This says tree crops, three to five tablespoons per gallon. It's like Italian dressing. There we go. Very precise. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this. We have to be a little more careful with this one. Tree crops, 1.5 to 2 tablespoons a gallon. I wish I had something to measure with, but we're going to do our best. And now I put it halfway full in here and I'm gonna blast it the rest of the way up to turn around and get uh, this mixed up really nicely. We want a nice even application. Normally, I might try some compost tea and seaweed sprays or garlic or tobacco or something like that, but this is actually a serious infestation and we are at risk of losing this tree. And I do not want that to happen, so I am going right for the tried and true that I know will take it out, should take this stuff out in one application. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and prune this tree up because it's really kind of a mess. It needs a nice good cleanup. But this is the time to do this right now in the dry season. I'm gonna spray the trunk too because there are ants going up and down all the trunk of the tree. That's not good. You gotta be careful too, the overspray on this stuff will, it's not very good for you, so. Don't get it in your eyes. Safety first. This soursop here also has uh, some of the scale insects. 
And so I'm just gonna spray this one. I'm spraying it up just to make sure, since it's right next to the other one and the same ants are carrying up and down, we're gonna get them out. This tree's easy to spray. You can see it's got a couple of sour stuff on it right now. We don't wanna lose those because we're too lazy to treat the tree. There we go. I've got this tree here, which is another grapefruit. Nice productive tree. It's also been hit by the fungus. By the way, copper sulfate kind of stings a little bit. Be very careful. Safety first. Uh, so I'm just gonna spray this tree too. The problem with this tree is I can't actually hit the top of it uh, all the way. It's too tall. I need like a my brother's fire truck to get to the top of it. But you know, we're gonna do what we can. And we're gonna feed it up real well. I already threw some seaweed around the base of these trees to give them a little extra nutrition. Which always helps. And we'll just spray as best as we can, you know? We'll knock it back uh, and hopefully the tree will, will push out new leaves and it'll be okay. And we can maybe keep the ants off of the trunk. But it's put some goo on the trunk or something to keep the uh, ants from continuing up because the ants are really what are feeding the the major infestation of scale insects, which in turn is feeding the black fungi on the leaves. I love my grapefruit, and I want to make sure I get plenty of them. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to catch me at the. Uh, Homegrown Food Summit 2019, there's a link below. I've got two videos, and they're not, um, you know, quite as boring as watching me spray trees with copper sulfate and soybean oil. Until next time, may your thumbs always be green, and not just with copper sulfate. Went to see David, David the Good. We listened to Portis Head and drank spiced rum. Oh yeah, that was being an experiment.